Hey guys, this is AirKB coming with another video. And yes, I have finished my hair. Um, I just finished it. I used um, the Softy Coconut Oil as a softener and a detangler. I don't use this too much with my hair, just when I want to pull it out and stretch it a bit. And then I just use the Big Sexy Hairspray just around the hairline so it'll keep it intact. I am also used a little bit of Taha, which is pretty much gone. I need to get some more this. I used uh, what I took home from Alta, and I used this brush from the dollar store to stretch my hair, and bobby pins and an extra mirror. But um, I ended up showing you guys the thread in the other video. I ended up not even threading it, and I was just like, it's going to take too long. So what I'm probably going to do with this is actually just put a scarf on and um, separate my part because I probably won't wear it as big as this. But this is my hair after it's been blown out. The top always goes a little longer, so you always have a good oval shape. Um, this is how much shed I lost. I do let you guys know how much shed I lost. This is actually quite a little bit for me because usually when I do it, I get a lot of shed. Um, a big question everyone's been asking me is, are you going to straighten your hair after this? I really don't know. I don't think so. I just wanted to blow my hair out. I love to grow my hair big. Middle parts, side parts, one braid to the side, one out. And so yeah, I just use this pick at the end. And cool shot it and just went ahead and detangled through it. I don't really, I didn't it even, I didn't even clip any ends because it all looked basically about the same length around. So I figured it was no reason to, um, so I'm looking at the mirror here. It was no reason to, uh, really trim it. These ends just I always get an oval shape. So, and then my black tends to grow a bit longer. So, yeah, it's just about reaching my neck. Um, yeah. Excuse me. Yeah, what I'm probably going to do now is um, just make a part here because I am about to not go to bed, but you know, when I lay down, you know, I'm going to show you guys what I do when I try to preserve this style. I make a side part that's gently well with my hair. I just part everything with my fingers after that. I might not put any twist in because I don't want that crinkly look. So I'm just going to take just some sections. And put it in puff balls, and that that keeps it, you know, um, manageable. So I just take a rubber band and just cut little sections off based on that part I made, and you just do them very loose, one time around. And it just keeps. I do this a lot in the summer when I blow my hair out because most of the time I don't want to have to keep reblowing it out. Uh, when I I want to stop saying blowing it out, we'll stretch it more or less. So. You know, and you start from where you made the other part. I like my bang section pretty large, so um, we're going to bring this more to the front because, I mean, just pull it up back some so it's not on your hairline. And it's going to look really crazy at the end, but see, I'm just going to bed with this, so I don't mind. And I did leave my scarf in the room, so I can't show you guys how I do it if I don't get it. You guys can see, but let me just put it up for you guys on camera. And I'm not doing it really tight, like I said, just wrapping around once. Just like the part two that last video I just posted, so. And then with the back, is a little bit different. I start in the back. In the back. I don't start at the crown area. So let me just go up and part it out. And you can see the back. And usually with the back, I just take one big section because I don't want any clothing on my hair. If it all fits, and this time it it's thinning, so we'll just put it all on big douche fine towel. And you know, when you take these out from sleeping them in bedtime, you're going to have like those little lines, and you can just nicely blow those back out, detangle them out, or if they won't come out, and you like a little bit of a wavy look, keep it, or just lightly um, blow it back out and brush. And I usually use cold heat for that, just so I'm not constantly opening and closing that cubicle, so it's just a little puff in the back. These are just up and up, just to a little to a rib. Um, and then I tied it all. I just wrapped it around once. And this is how it usually works when I go to bed. So I have three, four, five, six, seven, eight puffs, roughly. So yeah. And I could make them smaller, but not that serious. I wear it out like this quite a bit, so 
Um, what I'm actually going to do is because I don't want any clue on that, I'm cut that, I cut, but I'll separate that big one in the back and make two. Just because I don't want any pulling in my back story, so like I had two of the one there, and I'm going to separate it and make it two. And you know, it, depending on how you want it, you could make the section smaller or larger, and it wouldn't matter. Just this out of the way. Yeah, I just want to show you guys my hair, and just literally all the shit I lost from the tangler, blow dry, everything. Um, I didn't trim off much, I did separate the stuff I did trim. It was like some little bitty hairs. Um, but yeah, so yeah, I would have to say that the um, frizzy mixed with the ultra, the ultimate straight L'Oreal Paris crap, both worked well together. The shampoo diffusion, I felt like it was really smooth and everything. You know, even when I was detangling with the shampoo, it was smoothing, and you know, I compared it to my own shampoo conditioner I used from the Dollar Tree. Um, so yeah, I think it worked pretty good. The, like I said, the ultimate test will be when I revert my hair. And I probably will wear this up because because it, because it's a lot of more this um softener which is very greasy. I probably won't keep this up for long, maybe two or three weeks, depending on how busy my schedule gets. But because this is this these products were greasy, I know at least the coconut oil one was greasy, greasy, but the argan oil one I do actually use with daily moisture. But this I only use like to kind of press out my hair. Um, can get a bit greasy. My hair doesn't feel dry at all. Um, it doesn't, my hands just feel really oily, but the hair itself, it feels moisturized, and you know. Okay, let me go get my scarf, and I will be right back. Well, guys, I can't really find. Oh, scarf sitting right here. I went and looking for something else sitting right here. So I just take normal scarf. Uh, if you don't know how to tie a scarf, I guess I can teach you. So you take one corner. There's four corners, of course. And you just make the diagonal. I'm too short for this mess. But you just make the diagonal with this part and um, meet it. And then it will make a triangle. Um, so yeah. And it makes a triangle like this. And then you just put that front part in the front. And you, you can wear a body. That would probably be easier. But I just always use the scarf. And I make sure the puffs are being crushed. Just cross them over. And, um, put my ears out. I will be doing a video over head scars because I wear those quite a bit. That's pretty much my go to style that. Head scars or any type of head scar. And then I wear flat twists in the knee. So, I won't do one over flat twists, but I will do one over head scars, which I am in the process of editing. Then just make a little knot at the top. You know, put tuck that little piece up because you don't want your puff. Puff's always closed, so you just kind of tuck that in there. Yeah, you get like two in one, like a hair, and then I kind of rock a nice scarf or whatever. But yeah, I will sh definitely show you guys. I will try to maybe, I'm sorry I didn't actually show you guys how I wash my hair stuff, because that was like a last minute, 10 at night type of in thing you just want to do and get it over with. But I will definitely show you guys my reverting because I didn't blow my hair a lot. I went over to maybe a couple times. Um, no, I'm not probably going to flat iron it if that's the question. Um, yeah. So, yeah, I'm kind of bitching. Um, like, subscribe, and comment. And love you guys. Adios, chicos, and chicas.